the slump test is performed by asking the patient to first uh, slump their thoracic cavity forwards and then providing clinician overpressure on their spine and then bring their chin to their chest and again providing clinician overpressure on their head then asking them to extend their knee on the side of symptoms. And the last step is to dorsiflex the foot. At any one of those movements, if symptoms of neurological radiating pain, sciatic pain uh, were recreated, we would ask the patient to reverse the movement. So plantar flex the foot. If symptoms went away, then that would be a positive test that they had symptoms with dorsiflexion and it went away with plantar flexion. Again, we'll start over from the top. If the first um, step of slumping the thoracic cavity doesn't alleviate symptoms, she brings her chin to chest and I'll apply overpressure. If symptoms were recreated right here at this first step, we wouldn't continue to later steps. I would undo the pressure, have her extend the head if that alleviated symptoms, and then she brought her chin back to her chest and that recreated them. Again, that's confirmation of a positive test.